If you identify with these words at all, I have reached my target audience. I'm about to teach you the one thing that I had to change so that I could finally get consistent with all of my healthy habits. So this is what it looks like to be all or nothing. You decide that you wanna make a change because you're not working out, you're not eating healthy, you're not journaling, you're not meditating, you're not doing all the healthy things that you wanna do, you're not getting your shit together. So you decide to go from nothing, doing none of those things, to doing all of them. And you're super excited and you feel really good for a little bit of time. But eventually this isn't sustainable. You start to get exhausted, work and social plans get in the way, everything starts to fall apart and you slowly fall back down to the nothing. Being back in the nothing after being in the all, it feels like shit because you feel disappointed in yourself. You feel like you just can't have healthy habits. It's not something that's meant for you and you don't feel good. After being stuck here for a little bit, you decide to try it again, give it another go. So you go back into the all, you're doing all the things that you wanna be consistent in and it feels good for a little bit of time until eventually it's not sustainable. Work and life get in the way, you get sick, you get tired, you get injured and you end back in the nothing. This whole time, we're not consistently staying at this line of where you wanna be. Now, over time, this is why you start to burn out. You're giving all of your energy all at once. It's not sustainable. It exhausts you. You fall back into the nothing and it makes you feel like crap about yourself. And over time, you don't even have the energy or the motivation or the belief in yourself to get back to this level of where you want to be, of being super consistent and super healthy. Over time, your all gets lower and lower until you eventually just stay stuck down here. And this is your lowest point. You're consistently not able to do anything that you want to be doing consistently and it does not feel good. This is what it looks like to be stuck in the nothing, knowing where you wanna be, but feeling like you failed so many times and you've tried everything to make it stick, so you just don't know how to get the enthusiasm back. You don't know how to find that consistency. This feels like crap. Maybe you hang out here for a few months. There was one point where I hung out here for five months and it did not feel good, but I felt like I could not get myself out of this rut. I could not figure out how to fix it until eventually I got the energy back and I went right back to being all or nothing. I'd get these little tastes of where I wanted to be for maybe a couple days or a couple weeks or even a few months, but I would always fall back down and not be consistent long-term. This meant I couldn't build muscle. This meant that I was feeling bad about myself, about what I was eating. My weight was fluctuating. My hormones were fluctuating fluctuating. I was journaling and meditating and doing my skincare and all of these other self-care habits super inconsistently. So I'd get really excited and then it would all fall apart again. If you want to break this cycle and finally have your consistent habits that last months and years, like I have now found, you need to use the dream girl style of healthy habit building. The reason I call it the dream girl style is because this is what I teach to all of my clients in our dream girl circle. That is my group coaching program. And the majority of the women that are in that coaching program want to have consistent, healthy habits that make them feel good about their bodies and good about their minds. The method to the madness here is instead of going all or nothing, going straight to where you want to be and eventually crashing back down, we are taking small steps. We are introducing one small habit at a time and we are only moving forward onto the next one when we have made that one stick. The reason that this is so simple but so many of us don't do it is because we put so much pressure on ourselves to be perfect that we feel like we need to go all in and achieve this perfect vision of yourself that you have in your head without seeing all of the steps that need to be taken between where you are now and where you wanna be. That's why we just jump straight to where we wanna be and we inevitably fall back down. With the dream girl style to habit building and consistent routines, you eventually get where you wanna be. Look at that, we hit the star, it is so exciting. But the thing with this is that we have planned to avoid another crash. So we're not going all the way up and all the way back down again. We've built this nice little staircase over time. It's required us to be patient, but we've seen it pay off. And now we are where we wanna be. And it is so much more easy to integrate these high level habits into your daily life. With the dream girl style, it is so much easier to get to where you wanna be and then stay there because these are a bunch of micro habits that you have built on each step of the staircase to your best self. And you have slowly worked your way up to the top. It's required you to be patient, but it is so much more sustainable because it fits into your daily life. If you are the kind of person that wakes up on Monday morning and decides to reinvent themselves to be the best version of themselves, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but it will not last long term. You have to take it one step at a time. Otherwise, you will always end up right back in this cycle, getting so close to where you want to be, but never quite reaching it and never being able to maintain it long term. The next cohort of my group program, The Dream Girl Circle, where I teach you this, this is our core focus, is to get you here for eight weeks. It starts in March. The applications are open now. You can find more information on my Instagram or you can message me get started right now.